I haven't played Creeper World in a while, and you know what? We're gonna fight my butt. Gluteus Maximus. Let's see what this map looks like. So, uh, whew. okay. Oh, okay. This looks actually like a pain. <laughs> uh, luckily, it looks like the only inroad to this entire right side is this path, and it's upraised. So I should be able to take that fairly quickly and not have to worry about it. So the reason why we're <laughs> the reason why we're taking on uh, Gluteus Maximus for this specific round is I've actually been uh, having posterior problems for a while now. I've talked about it a little bit. I think it's called uh, is the phrase or is the term for it ischial bursitis something like that. Um, I'm sure I could look it up real quick. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's see, cancel. Shift to unpause. Oh, it's shift X to get rid of these. There we go. Okay, now we're paused again. Look, if I'm going to be coming back to Creeper World, I'm coming back with the grid. There we go. That'll be perfect. We'll get that set up. So, um... Uh, let's see, get a new map. This this one has a crack in it. I mean, would you not expect a glu Gluteus Maximus to have a crack? Would it not be very strange if it did not have one? I would actually be quite perturbed if I saw a Gluteus Maximus that was completely smooth. And crackless, in fact. Um... But yeah, so I, I think the, the term for what I've been dealing with is uh, ischial bursitis, effectively seat bone pain. You get it from sitting in a chair too much. Uh, and so as I get older, I'm sure I'm going to have all sorts of weird fun maladies that only like office workers and streamers are going to be picking up. Um, and so that's that's been something that's been causing me some, some amount of issues uh, for the last couple of uh, weeks, months. It started in February, but I was kind of managing it. But after a certain point, it became uh, to the point where it was unmanageable. And I eventually had to say, like, okay, I got to stop streaming as much. And things on YouTube were, like, a little slower. And I... Actually, no, things on YouTube heated up for a little bit. Because I did uh, some Dredge streams, Terra Nil streams, and Wall World that actually did really, really well. It's an office drone, I feel that standing desk is love. I love a standing desk, uh, but because I'm streaming, I have to pretty much say stay exactly where I am without taking a break or moving around at all for a period of m multiple hours, and uh, my lower back gets real angry at me if I do that. I will probably raise my desk after this. Oh, smokes, that's getting... F that's getting here quick. We uh we can't just ignore this, can we? Okay, I'm just going to take a pause. I'm not even going to try extending that far out. We're just going to get a gun on every layer here. Which might actually be more expensive, but it's better coverage. There we go. Uh let's see. We unpause now? Yeah. There we go. Uh, but so I figured, due to medical reasons, I figured I'd just take a bit of a sabbatical from, from streaming on Twitch. Uh, just to give myself a little bit of time to recover. And a little bit of time to figure out, like, where I want to be. Uh, I did a video... A year and a half ago? Two years ago? Uh, whenever the Twitch leaks happened... Uh, talking about kind of things I don't like about the platform, and I very much still stand by that video in terms of like properly compensating creators and a bunch of stuff like that. Like I, I truly believe Twitch is kind of a crummy platform. I'll stick with it because it is by and far the best uh, live stream platform available. Um, but there are certain things that I just, just don't like about this place that have always caused me a little bit of grumpage. Uh, and so I've I've always been kind of trying to figure out where my head's at as far as how do I feel about it? How do I feel about streaming? And the only time I can like really get my head on straight in that regard is by taking a break for a little while and like just thinking about stuff. Um, 
Because when you're in the midst of it, you know, trying to figure out what your docket's going to be, your schedule, trying to be consistent, like, it's almost impossible to actually... Let's see, we should probably get a factory down before I get uh, beasted here. But when you're when you're in the midst of streaming, it's a little hard to be... I don't want to say, like, objective. Uh, it's just hard to, like, reflect on anything because you're just too busy. Uh, and you don't have that separation to say, like, yeah, this is unhealthy, or, yeah, this is fine, actually. And so, uh, I just wanted to give myself some time to kind of waffle back and forth and be like, okay, so how do I feel about things? It's what vacations should be for, but I don't really get vacations. Uh, let's see. Nope, not that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so how... Ooh... There be the worms. It didn't give me a warning that there were missiles. Nope, there are the missiles. I just must have missed it. Okay, this is immediately going to go very poorly for me. Well, that's fine. Actually, it looks like almost all of the missiles went, oddly enough, into places I don't need to worry about. I mean, obviously they're doing some damage, but they're just taking out towers. Towers I can replace quickly and cheaply. So that, that truly, honestly, could have been really bad. And I am very glad that it did not. Okay, that's an issue. Yeah, I'm just going to prep a couple of these things. There we go. That didn't get too far. Okay, let's get a couple more missile launchers and just spread them wherever. I'll have to go over that, uh, get to that area and deal with it in a bit, but it's not a high priority for me. Right now, I just want to defend this entire lineup, because there's a lot of ground to cover here. Dang. Okay. I want to get in that a little bit. So your job is to shoot the blue stuff? Yes. Uh, so this is a tower defense, base defense style of game. But with a, um, let's see, do I even, no. We just want a couple mortars here. As, what the hell? How did that, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Okay. Luckily, I've got a pretty extensive network here. And should be able to take it back pretty quickly. Here, let's take this guy. Let's give it an urn. Let's give them all urns. Because I should have, have at least a handful that are are currently available. There we go. I don't know how that heck they managed to get that much over. Yeah, there should be no flow point, so it must have just been an egg. Wait, what is going on there? Did they teleport it on? I'm legitimately actually very confused. I didn't see an egg. I, man, I don't know. I must have missed it. It's probably something I needed a sniper rifle for. I do have eggs set to aggressive. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, lost another gun. It's fine. So what I get for not uh, not playing Creeper World for a while. Honestly, though, this is part of the reason why I love this game. There's a myriad of small problems that you have to constantly tackle. And... Uh... Cripes. <sighs> myriad of small problems that you have to constantly tackle. And boy, howdy. I, I might want to just restart this one. I think I get a little distracted with chatter. I might be able to make it work, but I don't think so. 
Yeah, it's blobs carrying eggs. I thought I had enough sniper rifles, but clearly not. Egg going around back corner, getting snagged on mountain. Gotcha. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna start this one over again, but I'm going to do it the right way this time. How am I gonna do it the right way? Heck if I know. Let's just do that. I mean, namely, thing I've got to remember is we need sniper we need sniper rifles very quickly. More so than we even need cannons up here. At least power shouldn't be an issue. I'm just going to kind of spread a number of these things without thinking too hard about placement. I'm not going to think about anything on that mountain either. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put a sniper rifle there. we got to get the factory down. Uh, yeah. Generation's already getting good enough. Don't want to think about this too much. This will be an issue. Let's see. Should be good enough. I don't think they're getting in yet. We're going to need a lot of mortars here. If that last, uh, last glimpse of what I'd have to deal with is any indication. We don't have any blue eye. I'm gonna skip the mining for a hot second. Well, mines are really good for resources, we don't strictly need them at the moment. Okay, good. I haven't dropped any frames yet. That's the other thing that's been messing with me. I don't don't have the best ISP where I currently live, and so my internet has been just inconsistent enough that it's just like, do I do I stream? When do I stream? When is my internet even? Remotely close to stable. Okay, so why don't we do energy collection, build speed, fire range, and fire rate. And mine production. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go for the whole list. Okay. And then considering how much those blobs were a problem for me, let's just drastically increase the amount of snipers that I've got pointed at anything and everything here. Nice part about snipers, at least in this game, is unless they're firing, they cost nothing uh, once you've built them. So I can just have this entire area bristling with this stuff. Is that correct? Yeah. The grid. Perfect. Ooh. We might as well get a couple of refineries here. I don't know how many you need. Okay. So now we need to look at this. Because last time we were here, this got dire. So what I'm probably going to have to do is just layers of things. We'll get a bunch of mortars and cannons. Because what I want to do is I want to get on top of this mountain. Okay, while we're here though, let's get some another missile launcher. Or three. Because I know the missile launcher is re- or the the spore launchers really like to shoot for the moon here. And I want nothing to do with that. This is my generation. It's looking good actually. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spread some guns around in what I perceive as vulnerable locations. 
Okay, this is starting to get a bit spicy. I'm just gonna get two of those. Because for the most part, we want mortars up and down this entire section. And then I should really get a pylon. Pylons I do not grid. Pylons disregard grid. Uh, yeah, that'll have to be good enough. Don't forget to connect the red on ore. Uh, I already have at least one, but yeah, that's a good call. No. It disregards the grid. Sacrilege. That's fine. Okay. This is looking a lot more ironclad than we, than last time. I do have to worry about them worms, though. I think just a couple here will do the trick. And then I should probably take a look at this. Because we're going to have a lot of these... This issue where it flows out into the void and then creeps upwards and makes it onto my base. It's not an uncommon situation, and it's one that has skunked me in the past. And is easily solved by just a healthy dosage of mortars. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Xander the Goose, by the way, for the 16-month resub, and Tajwit for the 16-month, or 19-month resub, sorry. Rotation. Screwed me up. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I mix up sixes and nines. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's actually something that happens quite often for a lot of people, but just, like, it isn't something that is overwhelmingly talked about. It, it feels like it's one of those things that you'd read about on, like, a, a Twitter thread or uh, some other social media thread where they're like, hey, you know, do you do this? It's actually a, a common, uh, it's a common thing caused by, like, this and this. And it's like... You're not a weird freak man that has tr trouble with numbers or reading or something like that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Looking pretty good. Ooh. This area does not actually have much of a missile defense, does it? Eh, there's one over here. Still, looking a little bit more ironclad. Actually looking very ironclad. Okay. Let's rotate around. Unfortunately, the grid must be preserved, but the grid... I think I'm just going to have to... I think I'm just going to have to break grid on this island. That is too steep. Because, yeah, we got we to gotta get to this point. How the heck... Am I going to defeat this butt? Because that's quite the ocean. I guess the real question is... Yeah, we do actually have the edge case duplicate. Oh. No, that's barely anything. There's no way I could make any headway there. We could actually go for the weird bulkhead. Or a weird bulkhead? The, uh... The reverse... Like, the back entrance... Uh... I... Actually, no, looking at this, it's pretty light in this entire upper section. I think my best order of business is to just take it. Let's let's just terraform this entire area. Make it mine. Oh, you're just watching me play. Joe wants to see what this game is about. I guess, yeah, I uh, I do play this, like, obsessively, so it wouldn't be that surprising for you to be curious. Why don't I go up here? I mostly just don't care about it. It's not a... It's not a major defensive location, so I haven't cared yet. 
Because I can maybe do a little bit of damage using it, but for the most part, this island is... Ooh. Lost something. Okay. Looks like we're going to need some more mortars up in here. I guess I'm just going to scoop my guns forward. Because these aren't going to be able to do anything from back there. I want to scoop my mortars in. Did I lose another one? Or no, we probably just terraformed that up. Because what I want to do is just take as much of this upper land as I can. I want to know what the things hopping up and down are. These are, they're skimmers. They will stun your, uh, they will stun your structures if they get too close. They're kind of nasty. Okay. Speaking of, I should probably get a couple of snipers up in the, up in here. It's looking a little dire, but it's not actually that bad. Well, let's move the turp over here. Kind of line some things up. Do I need the energy? I'm generating 60, but I'm using a fair bit. So why don't we, um... Let's see. Let me get, like, two more terps here. Might as well just kind of equalize some of some of this. Actually, maybe, maybe not. Let's just bring it up. I'll have to figure out how to fix that. But... Looking like we're getting some headway here. I'm just going to get a stupid amount of mortars up here. I think my main goal is going to be... Copy this. We're just going to cut... A bloody swath all the way up here. If I can... If I can just uh, take this entire land... Uh, and keep it for myself, cut off this entire area. There's no generators up there, and if I can take this, then we can start bathtubbing really hard. And then we can kind of loop around, get the next one, and then get to the edge, which is probably giving them a fair bit of their creep. Might be too close. Oh well, doing it. F these guns ain't... Ain't pulling weight anyway. Rather than build more, I might as well just move some of my mortars up. I don't want to move too many because then bad things happen. That. I'm going to flatten this. That whole mountain offends me anyway. I don't know why, I had like a very brief and very vivid mental image of uh, somehow this crossed with EDF. And I have no idea how that would even work as a game, but I want it to happen because I think it would be really cool. Okay, next order of business, let's flatten out this entire upper area. It's probably going to scuff some of the uh, power network up here. But if I can have this big flat, uh, flattened battle platform I can shoot over. Let's see. Why is it not oozing across? Because this is space, silly. And ooze only oozes onto space if something puts it into space. Then it oozes on space just fine. <laughs> ah, shoot. Uh, yeah, we don't... We have a mortar that is currently disconnected. Oddly enough, despite the fact that I have no missile defenses up here and no snipers, they've kind of just ignored this area. Uh, much to my general benefit. <laughs> I think it's because there are higher priority targets. This combined with EDF, don't you just end up with a tower defense then? I mean, isn't this just a tower defense, just slightly more interesting? Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Ironically enough, I'm going to take these. I'm going to do earn wants. We just want to go uh, with a bunch of high-powered uh, terps. Just take this. Okay, how's this looking? Busy. Shorts. I'm yeah, just wondering if you wouldn't lose the unique selling points of this game. Yeah, I feel like the only way you'd be able to do it... I mean, I guess what you would have is replace the creeper with just ants and... Replace the creeper with ants and the towers with, like, individual soldiers? Eh, it'd be okay. Alright. Well, one way or another, we're kind of in this, like, nice comfort zone. Not much can get through. And I do a fair bit of damage. So I think what I'm going to do is just... Kind of get a stupid mortar wall and just blast my way in. It's more like an RTS? Yeah, maybe. I The more I think about it, the more I realize that this probably wouldn't be a very interesting game. Unless you was straight up, you just chuck EDF soldiers into this. So you'd have a couple of mobile turrets. I guess really the answer would be, yeah, Red Alert 2 plus Creep instead. I would play that. I would play that gladly. I would also play that gladly if it was, yeah, Deep Rock Galactic as well. I could see that being a uh, absolute blast. Wow. We are... Let's move this up. We're actually using a fair bit of this power. I hope EDF 6 comes out soon. Actually, you need to go back. Turns out I didn't actually expand this enough. Uh, do we want to air? We should probably get a couple of rockets. I think we only want like two. I'll get a third one if I need to. Let's see, isn't there an RTS where you fight against an expanding crystal resource? You could use creeper treatment. You get an interesting middle ground. Um, oh boy. Which flavor is this? Okay, cucumber. Wow, that's actually really good. The RTS I'm thinking of with the growing crystals is actually um, Command and Conquer Tiberian and whatnot. Like, Command and Conquer 2, Tiberian Sun? It's been a while. But I do know the crystals grow and are kind of parasitic on their own. I don't think Lumencraft had growing crystals. It did have monsters, but that was more like pure base defense. I don't know. I just want more games where you build like a giant chonking base and defend it against foes. There's just something about the genre. I mean, it's very, it's very reminiscent. Ooh, nope, didn't actually get in. It's very reminiscent of Warcraft 3 custom maps, which is probably why I crave more games in this vein. I guess I should go back and uh, respond to the fact that I was like, oh, that was tasty. Uh, sh there's a Chinese grocery store in town that we've hadn't we've never been to before but shell and one of our friends went over there and we got cucumber cucumber flavored lays potato chips and crab flavored lays potato chips we haven't tried the crab yet and i'm a little i'm a little scared to do so uh it's also beef wellington and a couple other flavors which i'm curious to try i don't think i will ever go out of my way for it but, I don't know. I, I like the idea of experimenting with weird flavors that I wouldn't normally. Uh, let's see. Yeah, RTS tower defense games tend to be incredibly good. Yup. Honestly, like, it's weird. I keep seeing new RTSs show up, but they're all kind of stinky and bad because almost all of them tend to just be... Hey, but what if we made uh, a new competitive RTS? This is going to be the new eSport, right? It's like never. It never works. It's always bad. 
and nobody ever wants that. And the moment somebody comes up with like a, a base defense RTS, like, um, I mean, easy example would be they are billions, and it's like a smash hit. Against the Storm is great. I don't know if I'd call that an RTS, though. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually do... I can actually do this in... Oops. I can do this in kind of a zigzag pattern instead. It's not the most practical, but it's going to make it a lot easier to keep the grid. Yeah, have you seen Beyond All Reason? Uh, somebody suggested it to me, and I've been meaning to load it up for a video at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it because busy. It's also not on Steam, and I'll be honest, as, as silly as this is going to sound, uh, I have kind of a... It's not an intense amount of suspicion for games that are not on Steam, uh, but I'm reasonably suspicious of products that are not through certain, uh, certain vetted... Uh, vetted like software sites or storefronts and stuff um one of the primary ways that like youtubers get hacked uh is purely through uh i mean honestly like zip files and stuff like somebody somebody will be like hey we wanted we want you to try out like the preview version of this or that game and you're like oh man you know that game that I've been very, uh, you know, I've been looking forward to that game for a while. Sure, I'd be glad to check it out, you know. And they're like, okay, yeah, here's the, uh, here's just like a, a, a zip file with the latest game version in it. And so you you download that and whoopsie do. turns out this is actually a phishing attempt and you didn't notice, sucker. Uh, now, now it's time for some Uniswap news or some other junk like that. Uh... Not that Steam filters games that much, but it will it will filter for phishing scams at the very least. At least from my experience. And also I feel like if Steam was actually distributing a phishing scam that would hack people's computers, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be the only one targeted by it and they'd be a lot quicker about fixing the issue and a little bit more, um, uh, they'd have a little bit more skin in the game as well. I've heard reports of itch.io games being malware. I've heard of a couple, but I do know they scan. At least to some degree. But anyway, one way or another, I'm I'm always going to be slightly wary of games uh, from third-party platforms, even if like it is fine and actually better for the developers to uh, distribute their games in that manner. It's just a little dodgy. Even if it's fine. I don't know. Okay, so the answer is we're going to need so many more Terps to get this done. Trying to raise anything up to level 19 is a pain. I could stop after a certain point, but I'm not sure if I want to. Oh, you know what I should do? What I haven't done up until this point. Uh, Maybe times four is too slow. Let's just do times two. The one problem with Lay's potato chips, or really any kind of snacking when I'm streaming, is it that stuff gets stuck in my teeth in the worst possible way. Oh, looks like we could also get another rocket. We have more than enough green for it. It's open sor source, so it's a little sketchier by default. Open source, source means you can look at the source code and even build from the source yourself if you wanted to. That's only useful if you're actually, like, capable of doing it. Uh, I have this problem every once in a while with uh, programmers where they're like, yeah, just do, like, the programming thing, forehead. And I'm like, I don't... I can, like, kind of read a Lua script. That's about the extent of my abilities. And it is always interesting trying to argue, like, no programming really does require... Uh, a little bit more study than just staring at the code. Because I would not be able to tell you if something was... Um, 
I would not be able to tell you if something was malware just by looking at it. I wish I could. That'd be an incredibly useful and cool skill to have, but I'm just, I'm not that capable. Not without a fair bit of study and time and effort, and boy. I only have, uh, effort. I'm very much a learn-by-doing kind of personality, which is honestly super helpful for certain things, but the moment it becomes a little bit more uh, immediately complex, it uh, gets frustrating. I don't like reading dry books or listening to lectures. Maybe like a tutorial YouTube video or something like that. But I, I always thought... The idea of, like, adults being unwilling to learn was kind of ridiculous when I was a kid because there's so many cool things to learn. Why wouldn't you want to? And the answer is, like, the older you get, the more information that's just packed into your noggin is a little harder to recall at all. Uh, so I'm definitely having a little bit more trouble uh, studying things. So I took a class on PHP a couple years ago, and I remember nothing from it. I feel bad because, like, the class cost money, and I really should have probably tried to retain more. But it is just gone from my brain, and there's not much I can do. Hey, Wander, how's it going? Good! It's nice to be back. Uh, mostly. Let's see. What do we want to do? I just want to move a number of these things up. Because it looks like we can just advance the front. <coughs> yeah, Mortar D-Day. Oh, gosh. This sucker just decided he wanted to go live in the drink. We might lose one or two for it. We'll see. No? Yes. One. Let's see. One of the miners I built isn't connected. Uh, Where? Here or up here? Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah, the thing about Super Mortar Swarm being effective is that you can't quite turret rush with them in the same way. But you can push. And they push really well. You just need enough of them. Turret rushes are better for getting large amounts of land, or small amounts of land quickly. Mortars are great for getting large amounts of land slowly. Okay, I was going to push in here. Oh. Looks like a number of my terps aren't quite in the area. If a skill is not used, uh, it is lost. Everything you're remembering is gone after some time. So why remembering stuff ac uh, actually help... Remembering stuff actually helps to remember stuff for longer periods. What? I think that last bit got lost in translation. But it is, yeah, generally true. That's kind of unfortunate, because I, I truly wish I could just, like, keep learning and mastering all sorts of skills. And I think there are a lot of skills that I could still l learn and master if I put my mind to it. Uh, but there are more things that I want to do in life than I have time for, and so it's kind of picking your battles wisely. So is there a point in a run where victory is assured? Yeah, so the answer is the moment uh, the moment this flatlines and your base is not being overrun, victory is assured. So at this point, uh, we are we are already solidly in the win zone. Let's see. Do we actually Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna take this entire area. Uh this mess here needs to move though. I'm just going to take it for myself. Because I've got so many terps in this immediate area that we should just be able to kind of comfortably take. <laughs> There's one sad little turret all the way down in this hole. Yeah, it's just... Let's just terraform it for the sake of propriety. There we go. Uh, let's see. There. Now we've got the right camera perspective. This is still going to take a while, though. 
Which means we need more Terps. Should probably also move my snipers up. Actually, really, I should just build more snipers. Because with every single one of these things I build, it is easier for my enemies to sneak a, uh, a nasty in. How we look? How we looking? Good. We could use some more turrets or cannons. There we go. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I've got a couple of these suckers that are just in these little gaps that are now uh, completely buried. Oh. Oops. There we go. I think I deconstructed one or two Terps by accident by selecting their little terraformers. There we go. Sure, it's fine. I usually don't go for massive uh, landmass acquisition in this manner. I just kind of wanted a very slow but sure build this time around. Very oddly satisfying. Probably gonna want to do that here. Uh, I, honestly, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. But if I can, if I can take this mesa and these two, that would be bad. Because I think what we want to do is move these guys over here, terraform this. Let's just move it up one more layer. Because I think it's time for some bathtub tactics. Because how's our power usage going? Actually, fine. We've got a lot of mines here, so I can just get a oodles of miners. Exactly where I need them. Okay, let's just do blue light. Now the question is, where do I want a bathtub? Frankly, up here, rather than anywhere else. The reason why here is because we've already got kind of a nat natural bathtub going, and we don't need it in our main base in the slightest. Yeah, bathtub? Yup, bathtub. So, a unit type I haven't used yet, and I'm always kind of slow about getting these things uh, in action. But these are sprayers, and they spray effectively anti-creep. It's the same thing as the blue stuff, except for it's mine. And therefore is... Well, it's not good for my units, it just isn't bad for them. And so it'll just naturally push back. The problem is, funding it is expensive and annoying. And so I, I'm usually kind of slow about doing so. However... In this situation, it seems like a good idea. It's my... I, I had a gun. Let's just move this turret here. Ah, Shell is recording. I was just hearing, uh, hearing her talk animatedly. I'm like, oh, do I need to worry about this? And the answer is, no, I don't. My other turret. There it is. I'm just going to put that across for the time being. This one doesn't need to get built, but the rest do. Let's see, wonder you're a cat person or a dog person. Honestly, cat, but even then, more a guinea pig or like... I always joke about wanting a Degu. A Degu would be really cute. Unfortunately, they're kind of tragic critters uh, where they can form like a strong bond with a human. Uh, enough that it, like, satisfies their pack, uh, their, like, social pack needs, which I think is really cute. The big downside is that if you do not fulfill those pack needs, they will literally die from sadness. Uh, which is kind of dark, but they're really cute and just live a while. Let's see, the new King Kingdoms DLC will be out soon. I Sometime this summer, right? Unless they've, like, advanced it. One way or another, I'm, um, usually pretty well appraised of Kingdom. 
uh, kingdom updates as the as raw fury is very good to me about uh, sending me like updates and keys and stuff let's just push into this how's the bathtub going poorly let's fix that that should be some more ammo Wandering the Capybara Companion. I wouldn't be opposed to a Capybara, to be entirely honest with you. I think they're kind of cute. I think they're incredibly cute and very chill. And, like, I could totally see just chilling in a pool with one for hours. The only problem is that would get in the way of my streaming. Uh, because I would probably spend more time with that Capybara. Okay, let's, let's just kind of hook these up. Grid regardless. There. So we've got a good battle island going. Except for these. These should not be here. These are bad places to put a mortar. There we go. Uh, I want to move these to too much further forward. So let's just scoot them there. Had a pair of chinchilla for some years. They were great fun. I always feel... I'm not sure about chinchillas. They're a little bit more antisocial. And so I feel like that could be... It could have downsides, but maybe I've just been... Um, Unlucky with my chinchilla experiences. Not that I really have had a whole lot. I've just only. I've known a couple of people with chinchillas and I'm like, eh. They seem okay, but shy. They're also nocturnal, which is fine if you are nocturnal. Let's see. How am I going to deal with this? Because we've hit a bit of a bottleneck. Actually, maybe we haven't. Let's just flatten this. The big issue is all the landmass that I have specifically for my turrets is currently covered in mines. Oh. I have created a great sin. I was off by one. If I can extend another one. Yeah, there we go. It looks like it's actually flowing out of the preset bathtub and up onto the platform a little bit, which is nice. Oh. Let's see, chinchillas are perfect pets for gamers. Maybe. I I tried I I'm usually pretty nocturnal. Uh I like I like staying up into the wee hours in the the night. It feels really good. I'm super productive then. Problem is I got cardinals that live in a bush outside my um, outside my apartment, and let me tell you, cardinals like to make themselves heard at 4:30 in the morning. I would know it was 4:30 when I woke up today, because a a beautiful male cardinal was just going Brah! constantly. I mean, really, they sound like cute little laser guns, and so it's like it's hard to fault them for being noisy, but I really wish I could get a proper night sleep and that I could sleep in. Blue Jays. Blue Jays sound awful. Pretty birds. Horrible singers. I've become a bit of a birder over the last couple of years. Lockdown drastically increased my desire to uh, be outside more and one of the easiest kind of I don't want to say justifications for being outside is to go bird watching or bird listening. Uh, we specifically have a the Cornell. It's called like Cornell University Merlin Bird Identification. I don't know. I don't remember the uh, the full name of it. But effectively, it's a uh, a thing that that tells you the name of the bird that you're hearing. And it's super handy if you're going birding because then you can actually just tell yeah what bird you're listening to.
Though, uh, there are a couple of mockingbird kind of birds that we keep encountering that are kind of inconvenient to deal with as far as this bird identification goes. Because some of them are so good it actually fools the app. And so, like, uh, we were listening to a cat bird lose its mind. And it was like, yeah, that's a red-winged blackbird. And I'm like, no, I'm staring at it. That is most assuredly not a red-winged blackbird. This bathtub is, uh... Ain't, it ain't bathing. I think we need some more mortars in this area. I turret. they just regular turrety boy. There it is. Does this mean we'll get a wingspan stream soon? Uh, maybe? Have they come out with the expansions for wingspan? I know they did maybe one of them. I'm a huge fan of Wingspan, personally. Uh, we we played it on Saturday. Not the digital version, and it's not recorded. Uh, we have one friend. I, I'm I'm still very much in the, like, yeah, I, I'm not taking any risks with, like, uh, with COVID, just because getting it would pro potentially wreck my career. Because uh, long COVID sounds nasty. And maybe it's not nearly as dangerous as I think it is, but I'm still just, you know, gonna keep to myself for the most part. We've got one other friend who very much shares our opinions on this, and so we specifically meet up with her regularly to play board games. Because we, we can fairly safely kind of bet on each other to not do anything stupid or risky. And three players makes for pretty good board, board game night. Let's see. We'll be coming back to fights in tight spaces. I don't know on that one. I'll be honest. I don't really like fights in tight spaces. Uh, I love the idea of it. Here's the problem. When a run of a roguelike deck builder lasts longer than 40 minutes, I want it to end. When it lasts longer than an hour, I start to hate it. And when it starts to become like two or three hours, I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to be, be there anymore. So as much as... As much as that game is, like, fun and cool and incredibly inventive, it is misery for me to play it. Hey, you know what? Long COVID physics girl got that and she's been down for months. Yeah, I've... I saw people talking about that, but I didn't dare watch the video on, like, what's been happening to her. All right. So this is going to lock off here. I'm going to cancel, delete, shift click. I'm just going to stop this. We don't need to ex extend any further. Because this entire thing is now locked off. And then all we have to do is just chuck like one of these things in here. And it'll just clear up the whole area for me. Because nothing else is going to be filling in. I thought I cancelled all of this. I don't know. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's take a look at this. I guess, first and foremost, extend the grid. And then move the guns up. Oh. How is this thing still alive? I'm actually impressed. Okay. So in that case, let's just take my extra turrets. We're gonna scoot them up here. I just want to make sure they're all vaguely within range. And can get power. I think this one can't. Nor can nor can this one. Okay. Because we just want to extend. We want to extend the grid. And I think I'm just going to move these up here. Might be a smidge riskier. But, whatever. 
I don't actually... I don't actually care if a couple of these mortars get blown up along the way. We far quadding today. You know, I always thought Shrek would be the long-lasting character from that movie that would stick in my mind forever. I was not expecting it to for Farquaad to literally to become a verb that I frequently uh, refer to and think of fondly. I don't know. Memes are stupid. Alright, so let's take a look at this. So what I want to do is take these. Yep, bathtub is bathing. We've got it kind of locked down. And we are holding our own pretty effectively. And then if I can take this and hold this hill. Uh, we can potentially kind of take this entire area, in fact. Let's do it. It's all mine. I don't actually know what variety that is. But I figure if I, I have this big bulwark up here, then I can just kind of ignore it for a while and get even more blue light, which means anti-creep. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I should do? Yeah, rather, rather than ever mess around with um, pylons, because I am lazy, it's almost easier for me to just get a bunch of M riffs left and right and just chuck them places. Ah, something's gonna get blown up. Nope, never mind. Got sniped immediately. Dang. I'm impressed. Okay. So how is this holding up? Because I think my goal... Is just kind of take this zone. I guess the bathtub, it's working. So pretty much don't have to think about this area. Let's take those those guys and chuck them over here. This is going very slowly. So yeah, have I seen the recent update to Peglin? There are three characters now. No, I haven't. I was actually thinking of adding Peglin to the docket, but... Um, I don't want to say performance anxiety made me choose Creeper World instead. I know no matter how rusty I am, I can always do somewhat well at Creeper World. I'd forgotten this project, that I was starting to aim for this whole, whole area. And then I just kind of forgot about it and also didn't care. That's fine. Hey, thank you, Blue Doom, for the 13 month resub. Yeah, Creeper World. Creeper World is always a good time. That's. It's a fairly universal rule, yeah. Let's see. Do we want to just pile into this area? I don't think this area is going anywhere. There's just too many mortars aimed at the whole location. Uh, let's see. These guys ain't doing anything, though. So let's fix that. There. Turbo terraforming time. So yeah, if I can get in here and wreck this blob nest, that'll make my life easier. Uh, ooh, geez, what else do we do? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. It was easier to... Let's see, it was easier to do back in the day. In Creeper World 2. Or 3? 3. Lost all sense of time. But what I want to do is put a platform right in the midst of this, which is going to take a little bit of effort and mostly require a bunch of empty, um, a bunch of empty terps not doing anything. 
That's not on grid. What? Oh no. This is a false grid. There's no easy way for me to line it up or fix it, correct my mistakes. If we know this is the true grid, then let's build this here. And I'll just overcorrect once I have uh, once I have full dominance. I think I was sloppy and then just took uh, just started reflexively building the the grid as you do. Okay, well, you know what we always need? More mortars. We don't. We're actually probably doing fine on mortars, and I could just kind of keep cycling them up. Or I could build, like, a bunch more, because it costs me almost nothing. How's this looking? It's a little bit more aggressive. Oh, because the towers that I placed are out of juice. Well, if you're out of juice, let's just, um, let's get them in here. Let's move this guy back. This might be an issue. I don't think it will be. At least for a moment. How many tiles is it? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm gonna put that there. That's the true grid. Is it? I've got to be off by one. Oh, I am. I am off by one. There we go. But one way or another, now that I've got that there, I can just move in. Because we want to just take this place. So now that we've done that... Purge the false ones. Oh no. I cannot. We have to wait for it to reconnect. Move these boys in, too. Uh, let's see. I guess we're going to lose a mortar for this. Maybe? Now it looks like we're fine. Okay. Expected better grid. Excuse me. I'm working on it. Grids are hard. When you're dealing with heresy. Uh, let's see. Eh. 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 Everything is broken. Everything will be repaired. I guess we'll have a couple that break grid, if only because I have no choice. Because of the mine placement. But otherwise, we're fine. Yeah, we did beat the wave level. Sorry, that was just like stuck in my head where I was just like, oh man, I should go back and finish the wave someday. And then I realized that I in fact did. That is a good feeling. Yeah, that's ugly. 
It's probably just better to drag that direction. And regain dr grid. There we go. Okay. I don't know what's happening on that. Uh, yeah, it's not going to connect no matter what. So I'll just put that there and hopefully that connects to the sprayer. I guess we could always just move the sprayer up. Because I think this is, this is done for. Alright, so let's actually think about finishing this. Because we've taken eh, roughly half the map. How, how, how much have I taken? Where's the delegate? Yeah. Roughly half. What I want is this. This is the prize. But did we we did end up end up taking a fair bit of this. Uh we don't have enough terps in the area. You know what? Let's move up here. Let's just have them work in this area. I don't think we need too much more. Pile these suckers here. I just want to get this area filled in quick. Because if I can take this zone, then we don't have to worry about it. And I get a bunch more mines. Which we want anyway. Okay, structures, miners. I should probably, I should probably think about getting at least a couple of, I just put it there. Let's see, a couple more snipers up in here, because I actually do not know how many snipers I have. I'm honestly kind of shocked this whole thing hasn't fallen apart on me, purely through lack of attention. Because I was, I was kind of expecting, uh... Some hole to get ripped through my base at some point. But we're looking pretty clear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grid this one. I think I'm probably just going to ignore it for a hot second. Okay. So as soon as these guys are done fixing up this area, what are my other... I know I have a bunch of other terps that I'm just not using, so I should probably bring them in. Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have any missile launchers. <laughs> this whole area is woefully underdefended, mostly, mostly holding together by merit of raw firepower and not much else. Okay, where is a gun? Oh, there you are. That is a good gun. We want this to target mesh. I've got an anger gun. I'm just going to put it up here, have it shoot this. If we can hold the area, we'll be good. I guess I could get a shield. I don't usually mess with shields, but a small shield right here should hold them back really easily. I got another M rift like right in here. Who needs pylons if you've got just M rifts for days? How's this looking? Oh, that's weirdly dire. My life for dire. <laughs> now that I made it flat, it has now become uh, easy pickings. move a bunch of these over and then I guess actually replace them really quickly before this all flows back oh smokes that was a bad idea oh well we nothing nothing ventured nothing gains cannons all the way there we go perfect 
Mortars. Sorry, cannons are the regular turrets. Wait, there isn't a thing called a turret in this one. I've been calling cannons turrets and mortars cannons. But there's no turret. Turret doesn't exist. Oops. Stent. Extend that there. We should probably get the rest of my mines in in this area. Okay. okay. One, three, minor. I don't know why the rotation key is O. That always struck me as a very strange choice. Okay, back to blue light, but yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna to attempt to grid there. A grid in those conditions is meaningless. There we go. Now here's the question. Can my Terps... My Terps cannot, in fact, terraform. Huh. Good to know. Turrets cannot terraform dark spaces. It, I, I mean, it makes plenty of sense. And seeing as we're here, let's just get another M-Rift. Like an absolute goon. Okay. So how are we doing? I mean... We're doing fine. We're taking a while. I'm very slow. Which is... It eh, could be better. Here's the next question. Can I get a sprayer here? Nope. I might be able to move one. Because, yeah, unfortunately this mesh is, uh, not holding. What I want to do is sneak a nullifier right on top. I think this boyo is working. Okay. Let's move this shield. Because I can get the nullifier right here. That should keep it safe. Because if, if I can sneak this in... Dang it. If I can sneak it in... Alright, that ain't working. Shields are... Shields are, uh, you know what? Get out of here. Where's my other? There you are. I'm just going to get two of these. Hope that'll do the trick. And then I should probably get some beacons down. I think I only need like two. Because if I can take that upper area and we don't have to worry about it, then we're good. Let's hope that this will keep it safe enough that the nullifier can go down. Because as soon as this is properly nullified... You scum! Try again. Uh, okay. Try again, but with rain and explosions. Build it faster. Before the- No, the grenade storm ain't dead. Alright. It was worth a shot. Well, here's an option. Instead of my stupid little aisle, it seems like just putting one down here is safer. 
The digitalis is mean. Yeah, it's because it instant transfers up. There's no, like, spread. It's just like, whoop. And just is a jerk about it. I, I told it to make another beacon. Unless it, it got cancelled by something, it might have. Wow, that's kind of sad. This one works. There we go. Problem solved. Job done. So how's this looking? It's... It's looking. Well, something exploded immediately. Oh, the beacon. Of course. I probably need some guns here. Ow. We had some casualties. Okay, let's try getting the beacon again. But I'll put it here this time. Alright. Put that here. Switch back to this. Cannons the whole way down. I guess I should probably get at least a sniper somewhere in this mix. Actually. Let's let's let them finish this, because we don't we don't really need to care about this area. It's just mostly here so I don't have to worry about a secondary defensive front. Let's take all these boys back. Oh, do we have another false grid situation? No, we don't. Or maybe we do. False grid must be purged. It was slightly off for some reason. Probably because that hill. Oh, and this is in the way. I really should probably stop being super stubborn about this. I really don't need to be here. We move these boys down. Let's flatten this. I don't think we need need it to be there anymore. I don't think we even need the height that we did. This is mostly just to protect the bathtub and give it as much kind of runway as I possibly could. Wow. That sniper just absolutely wrecked him. Perfect. Good timing, too, because now we can just pop a nullifier down. Don't have to worry about a thing, and I should probably get a missile launcher or three. Okay, so how are we doing this? I think the real answer is, once again, just push upwards. I have a lot of blue eye. Ooh, and I'm generating a fair bit, so what we might want to do is just get more blue eye. I don't think I'm going to be using these mines this aggressively. And so if we just end up with a stupid amount of anti-creep just being generated and chucked at my enemies, that'll be much, much better for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grid this one. Not comfortably, anyway. I think that's... I think that's on grid. I'm mostly just going to connect this for power. Oop. That didn't want to work. I 
Now here's the question. Yes, it does. I'm just going to assume that's right, and I'm going to stop fussing. I have spent too much of this being an acolyte of the grid. And I think at this point it's time for me to figure out winning. Oh, nuts. Put some stuff down so I can nullify it, and it looks like it wormed me. Don't you just hate it when you get wormed by some jerk? Let's see. Are we not within range? Oh, yeah, there. One of these is going to nullify this sucker. There it goes. Start overloading. I'm just going to have some backup nullifiers just in case. 58 orbitals are going to be silly. I really should probably use them on something. Oh, God, this map is huge. Okay. So this is taking too long. We need a... We need... We need to go faster. So let's go faster. Let's see. I'm going to move this here. We want... Let's see, a couple of porters. Yeah, I like the uh, super cannon rush that I've been doing, but it's not the most practical. Uh, let's see, so we want to do some anti-creeper and some arg. Move over here. We've got another one of these here. We've taken out this worm and we'll be blowing it up shortly. I just want to line a couple of these up. Right in the center of the generator. Oh, gosh. What happened over here? That's imposing? So this is procedurally generated every game. Sort of, yes. Uh, you can choose a seed, which changes the map. Oh, dang. I picked the wrong one. We want you. There we go. I should try another one of those, like, small maps instead. Okay, create squad, select squad, and we are just going to dump them right here. Oh, you know what? I don't even... ...necessarily need the anti-creeper. At least not immediately. We're gonna put that there. We'll move this over one, because I am going to try and build an MRIF right in the middle of this. Hold up. Okay, uh, let's see. Over here. I've got a bunch of these, so I'm just going to use them for my defensive needs. Okay, that should be a solid setup. I guess I'll just do another conversion over here. As soon as that magnet goes away. There it goes. Yeah, I figured make it make it a little easier on myself. Wait. Oh, it didn't it didn't get started. Well, considering this area is already kind of scuffed because of my past actions or my my strategies. Move them up and over a bit. There we go. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to hold on here. My big big worry is a lack of power, but I have a lot of anti-creep just being kind of mixed into this mess. That's probably good enough. I don't think I need need another one. So that should keep it safe long enough to get this MRIF down, which is already well on its way. So we're just going to do a couple of these. 
What's this new? Played one through three and didn't know a fourth one existed. No, it's not that new. Uh, let's see. Creeper World 4 came out in 2021? I think it was 2021. Maybe it was 2020. I forget. We're also going to want to miss a launcher up in here when we get the chance. But mostly I need that micro ref to be done and we're good. And now we have ammo for everybody. Celebration time. Ooh. I really cannot have just a bunch of terps defending that area. It's not going to work. All right. Cool. So now that we're done with that, this is spread pretty dramatically. What do we want to do? Probably just connect this whole dang upper area if I can. Let's uh, snag one of these guys. Move it up here. Just fill that in if I can. Anything else? No. Because I just want to hook these two together. Because if I can do that, then this whole base is secure. It's already got the M rift. But I can just form a proper defensive wall up and down this entire thing. And considering everything, we can probably just get a bunch of sprayers right here. And just turn them on. Okay. Put that there. Saw a nice multiplier on the map. You mean this thing along the edge? Yeah. Or do you mean this one? This one's nice, but it's going to be a little harder for me to get into. Kind of. Not really, actually. All we have to do is just uh, highway to heck. We... Yeah, I'll start working on that. Because I don't think we're going to be using my... My terps for anything at this point. And this will give me a good platform to take both of these two. With some effort. Uh, let's see. Fine. I'll get a pylon or two. Gritting. I have no idea. If I just put this down the side, then we will know. There. Okay, one or two of these guns are outside of my energy zone. But I don't think that bothers me too much. Select a bunch of these. We do. Yeah, it says avoid creeper, but I think that only counts for moving, and I really wish I could get it so that it would avoid creeper when placing. Because if I could get it to press press the edge really cleanly, that'd be much much better for me. scoot a number of these up slowly because at this point we've broken a fair bit of their hold they've lost all their multipliers here and I've got a decent amount of anti-creep to just hold so I can just build grid scoot up build grid scoot up build grid scoot up pretty much endlessly here heck I'd even argue half of these guns are kind of vestigial at this point
The only problem is they really like to be in the way when I'm trying to get my next energy tower down. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, how's this project going? It, it went, and then it stopped. Let's, uh, just very quickly copy this. Easier to build on the grid if I actually have a grid. Oh, well that looks nice. What else do we want to do? I've got all these cannons back here. Why leave them, why leave them in the back where I cannot use them? Uh, let's just get that closer. Yeah, it's like they want want to be in my way. Every time, too. It's really impressive. I just scoot them out of the way and then I've put them in my way again. Yeah, how's my power generation looking? Fantastic. Come on. Select select the mortars. I could go for the cannon rush, but my immediate goals are here and here. And it almost feels kind of meaningless to try and cannon rush either of them. When it's probably just faster and more effective for me to just slow walk it up. Slow walk it up. There we go. Let's go make some friends. Should probably get out of top-down view for a little while. Wow, that is that is like a weird square wave coming at me. It's because it's oh, it's because it's from the wall, of course. I killed something. No idea. What we probably need here is just a decent backup list of snipers. And missile launchers. But I don't think we need missile launchers quite as bad. But no sense in sacrificing any amount of anti-creep. There we go. I are getting pretty close to this one. Move you back. Let's get this a little closer. Nope. Didn't quite get it. However, now that it's buried, all I have to do is just get this here, and we don't have to worry about it. Wonder, did you do round two? No. Turns out my gluteus, uh, my gluteus maximus, uh, run is pseudifiably large. And also, therefore, a bit of a pain. Alright. I think... Now, we've got, like, one more emitter. Yes. Yeah, it's still round one. Some of this is self-sabotage. I will I will fully admit to being slower than normal. Uh, admittedly because I'm a little rusty. But also because I have nearly perfectly gridded this map out. And that feels good. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? We're just going to make it rain. This is one way to clear some zones. I never thought of this before. I can just forge a path with rain.
Okay, so these guys are good. We're just going to move them over to this edge. Because if I can have them there, that'll be swell. Move these guys up. They're not doing anything anyway. Alright, cool. So this is locked off and now we're taking this, this zone for ourselves. And yeah, I really could actually just do this a bunch, can't I? Because I can just, I can just blast that to kingdom come. Forward. Some of these things are just my way. I don't even know what's... Oh. What a random... Random turp back there. Still selected somehow. Having the foggiest how or why. I... Uh, wait. Problem solved. There we go. I don't think I... Uh, no, I lost a thing. I lost a tower there. Uh, that's not a problem. We just gotta make sure this guy has enough juice. There. And technically, we could leave whenever we want. But why would I ever do that? There we go. I might as well just hook a number of these things kind of together. We don't need to care about that too much. What are we looking at? Well, I should probably nullify this before it decides to bite me in the keister. There we go. Yeah, all this land is just mine. Barely had to do a thing. So now I think all I really need to do is this. Rain. 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 Alright, there we go. Entire plan on this one is really to just kind of push my way in. I guess it's going to piss off a bunch of eggs. But that's kind of my intent. Because what I want to do is just scoot this entire way. Because this little bit of yellow generates anti-creep for me. So if I can just have towers and just a handful of cannons... Pushing along, pushing along this entire section, it just becomes mine. Uh, we should probably get a M rift though. Right here. That's good enough. And yeah, we can just freely toss most of my towers in this mix. If I can find where I'm placing them. I kind of wish I could almost tell this game to automatically uh, automatically place a thing. Uh-oh. Survive! Yeah. Now they're dead. Shoot. I guess part of the issue is they can't shoot anything. Oh, can I just 
I can just place that there. Okay, perfect. So we'll get that done. Uh, I should probably also get some more sniper rifles. I don't know what this area looks like. And luckily, since we have so much anti-creep, it's not that big of a deal. But I do know that there are the jerk clouds that will come say hi if I'm too inattentive. Okay, so how are we looking? Good enough. Just got a bunch of turrets down. Cannons down. I guess while we're at it, I might as well move up the mortar. And considering this area is a little unsafe for them, let's just clear it out a little bit. This is a weird way to use orbitals, but it might actually be the best way to use orbitals. I've I've always been kind of sloppy about them because I don't uh they weren't very good support networks. Oh. This has become unhinged. It's this thing's fault. But using them as I mean, I guess I've I've always used them as easy cover. For a number of rushes and advances. But I don't think I've ever just forged the path in this manner. I don't like where this is going, necessarily. I guess it's working well enough. I'm just gonna get another beacon up in here somewhere. Let's see. Because the problem is I do have to move a couple of these back out of here. And the spacing is annoying. Because I should be able to just get a nullifier here and a nullifier here, and then we don't have to worry about either of those boys. Alright, so how are we looking? We've made a mess of pretty much everything. Oh, and this is gonna... We're gonna have some casualties here. I knew there was going to be a sneaky blob nest in a bad place. Didn't actually realize we had two pretty hefty emitters hanging out right there. Oh well. Not really a problem for me. Uh, oh shoot. The nullifier. That's why they went for this section. The null nullifier got wrecked immediately. I'm just gonna make that turp down. I just want to get them out of here. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more major terraforming projects. To be entirely honest. Yeah. yeah, what I wish I could do is lay down the blueprint for a tower and constantly try and build it. Because I know the AI does that when you're just doing the, like, play as creeper maps. Oh, what am I doing? I was waiting for the creep to go away. I need to be more proactive about these things. There we go. Not the best. Not the worst. And I should probably get some more snipers. At least these, these boyos can just be shifted forwards. To some degree, I almost wonder if I could just do that without having to worry about using rain. But it's probably easier if I use rain. The other option we do have, seeing as we've come this far, and have remained largely unopposed, Let's do a singularity like 
right here. Oh, it is actually working. Kind of hard to singularity when you're in top-down mode. Oops. There we go. That'll cause some nice damage. Unfortunately, the eggs are probably going to n mess it up pretty bad. Do another singularity over here. <sighs> Pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. See, this time they kept away from the edge. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna do a couple of conversions here and there. Figure it'll be easiest to take the wall. If I already have a bunch of anti-creep just waiting for me. Uh we should probably also move a couple of these guns back. This is advancing a little... Oh, it's right on the digitalis. It's certainly certainly looking tumultuous. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear it. Why don't we just bring one of these boyos up? Because if I can generate some anti-creep here... It's starting to clash, but if I can just own it... Because I'm just going to turn this one off. Better to just own it and push. The problem is there are a bunch of eggs along the edge here. Which is making this a lot harder. be able to take that one. Hopefully I'll be able to get up here. Nope. I think I'm going to need another M Rift. Well, let's do it. Because yeah, we have to wait a very, very long time for any of any of our supplies to get where we need it to be. So instead, let's just speed up the process. There's a lot of eggs. Eh, I've seen worse. How many eggs are there? A hundred. What was the one map I did? I, I definitively remember playing a map with like 500 or something. Like we hit egg cap and it was bad. You can definitely tell I'm, I'm messing this map up pretty dramatically. Let's go up to times four speed. Performance is gonna suffer. I almost wish there was a times three. I think it'd be a bit smoother than this. Yeah, I think I, I think we gotta be at T2. Oh, it's a little bit of a thing there. Now I'm just gonna keep raining on the parade. Because as soon as I can get the anti-creep just going on its own, along the edge, and he has nothing, then we're golden. Okay, move that there. Because I can just creep up the towers. Alright, lastly, a couple of eggs here. I'm just going to point some mortars in this general vicinity. Anything else vaguely within range? Not overwhelmingly. Let's just put that there. This is going to have a ton. I guess I should get a sniper. Once those snipers are done, though, I should probably drop, drop a rain on both of these. Because those... 
There are going to be so many eggs. There we go. That should keep it down. Hey, and we've taken the upper border. I don't know if we're going to hold it, but we've taken it. <laughs> Using these orbitals very liberally. So far, so good. So let's take a, a quick ogle. So we've, we've definitely cut them down to much smaller size. I think I want to take these two, just because it'll be pretty easy. Once this whole area is just owned. I don't think we need to worm, worry about this worm, worm nest. Yeah, we gave it a lot of friends. We have an area of completely inactive mortars that aren't doing anything. Yeah, we do. Let's go make some friends. Except for you. That might be too friendly. Is that good? I think so. I don't know... I know why I'm so obsessed with being gritty as heck. Oh, you're you're a false false grid. There we go. Move that in. We'll be able to just nullify that sucker. Taking this is going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a lot of time. I realize I'm playing this almost exactly like Creeper World 3. Just pure top-down, slightly obsessed with grids. The only thing I'm lacking are those really sweet reactors. I, I truly... I know why reactors got removed. They were unbalanced as heck. But I do miss them. Yeah, being able to being able to convert every square inch of landmass you own into just oodles of raw raw power got pretty ridiculous. What did the reactor bring to the table? Every reactor was worth like three power generation or something like that, and you could effectively um, you could effectively power an entire map. Um, well, you could power an entire map on a very, very small amount of land, which meant that you could have this, like, tiny... You, like, you could put a, ba a base, start here, just start here, immediately start building reactors, and you might actually be fine. Did they get, did get balanced into blue eye? Kind, kind of. Okay, so how are we doing this? I want to take this hilltop. Because if I can have that hilltop, everything else becomes easy. I guess before that... Extend that there. I guess we're going to want a pylon here. Okay, good. That doesn't actually destroy the pylon I was building. It just locks it down for a bit. But we're just going to put a beacon on top of this sucker. Uh, let's see. And a nullifier. And a second nullifier. I'm not even going to think about grid down in that little dell. I don't want to worry about it. Is the top right getting even creepier? Yeah, it's uh, creeped as... Oh, it's because there's this. Alright, here, let me fix that. Boop. There. 
It is no now longer uh no longer creepier. It is now mine. All mine. Hey, let's uh actually overload a couple of these. Did I take that one? Yeah. Anything else? Oh, that's that's the M Rift. That's what it's showing me. That's what I wanna do. Is build on to on top of this mountaintop. Cause if I can take this, I guess we're we're gonna have a couple of stunners, but that's about it. But if I can take this mountaintop for myself, build M Rift. Right front and center. I want to make sure I don't have any mortars going to extremely foolish locations. That one looks kind of vaguely foolish. Like I said, extremely vaguely, uh, extremely foolish locations. It didn't die. Oh, that one did. Whatever. Mountaintop is mine now. And as soon as this M Rift is complete, this whole area becomes, uh, one heck of a thorn in their side. Look at that go. Alright, so that's pretty much just gonna rain hellfire down on everything. Oh, are these dead? Yeah. Just overload that one. We do still have worms here. Oh, but there's snipers pointed at it and have been forever. I'm just gonna sneak up. I don't I don't think they're gonna uh eh. There's a worm. How is how is there a worm? Let us guarantee that there is no worm. Dang, I for I forget those things gout creeper on the regular. Let's just walk our way up here, too. One of these is going to work. There we go. You can't get them all, can you? Oh, wow. These are actually buried. I thought this was going to be like a tough nut to crack. And we've completely just flooded it. This one's holding out a little bit, but it is not. It's not going to get the chance. All right, now we get the nullifier. Nullifiers. Well. In a practice of extreme and brazen foolishness, I'm just gonna extend my towers straight through this area. They can't stop me. They want to stop me. They have no chance. And it's done. Perfect. Taking this is actually not going to be a problem in the slightest. All we have to do is just pop a nullifier here. This one's already buried. So I don't think it's a problem. Well, A. But just in case. them aim for mesh. We're probably going to have some casualties here. Er, uh, I know this grid's supposed to connect. It is not. Oh, it's because I was, oops. Once again, committed a great sin. Let us rectify our grid. This is this one. This is the betrayer. There we go.
There we go. Perfect. Even if it doesn't connect, it doesn't need to. <laughs> uh, I should probably pull some of these back. How are some of these powered? That range. That ranged though. There we go. That should be enough power for everybody. Let's just move this bad boy out. Slap a nullifier right there, right there. A little safer. Tell that one to overload. All right, so what do we even have left? This mess. Uh, let me get my grid down before I do that. No sense remaking mistakes already made prior. Considering this whole area is just riddled in anti-creep anyway. I don't think they're going to be really touching me. There we go. Alright. How many mortars can I send in one area at once? And how many of them are going to survive? That's a question. Uh... I'm going to ensure some of their survival. Not all of their survival. That would be foolish. Everything is exploding now. Yeah, I'm glad I was not trying to play on a higher, uh, higher speed. My frame rate would be, uh, trash. There's no grid here. There's only explosions. Alright, well that clears that up. <laughs> yeah, we lost we lost a lot of mortars in that. However, what we gained uh drastically outstrips it. Alright, let's uh let's get some nullifiers up in here. One, two, two, three, I don't know. That should be good enough. Some of these are going to work. Okay, extend that. Oop. Extend this around. I will kill this worm. There's no way they can stop all of these nullifiers at once, right? One of them has got to work. And then I think that's it, right? Yeah, one enemy left. Just this worm nest. I think that's right. I don't know. This one's wrong. Then I should probably get an M rift, like, right in here. That was intensely satisfying. Definitely slow. Oh gosh, yeah, that took about two hours. But on the flip side, uh, we had a good time just completely smashing this uh, this area. Wait, what? Why was there a rain droplet? I saw like blue orbs go bouncing by. Oh, it's this thing. Whatever the hell that is, is... um. Excuse me, sir. I don't know what you are. You need to not be here. I think they're just instantly dis uh, disappearing, but yeah, there's, there's a little jerk fountain doing whatever it wants. There it goes. It is now dead. 
Yeah, let's just rift jump out of there. No reason for me to stick around. Yeah, what the heck is that? It's like a weird alternate skimmer. I've seen it a couple of times, but I... It's rare. Like, it's a rare spawn on only certain maps. Other than that, I have no idea. Well, one way or another, that was a lot of fun. I think I might try some small maps in the future. What's a small butt look like? Because excessive is fun, but takes a long time. One way or another, let's switch to something else.